Tough guy Jason is a software engineer. He likes to keep fit. And he's away. And someone's forgotten to make those stairs slippy. That's annihilate and destroy. Jason flying around the qualifier. Too tough, I'm sure, for the sucker punch. Shrugging. Oh! Yeah, Timothy's punched in the chest. Nevertheless, he's straight back on it. He is tough. Would you like to tell everybody uh, just what you did for your 25th birthday? I, had, I went down to Edinburgh to watch the High School Musical theatre production, I'm afraid. What? Yeah, that's really tough. Your uh, favourite band is? I've got a place in my heart for Westlife. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a place in my bin for Westlife. Right, the big balls. And tough guy does pretty well. That was wicked. Onto the wall swing now. The rope is released. A nice swing. Oh! And a classic grunt and drop to finish. Woo! Nevertheless, that is an incredible time from Tough Guy Jason. That could even be the fastest we've seen all series. Let's check. So there was handsome Ollie, who did it in two minutes and six seconds. Sam the Super Geek posted a time of 1 minute 35. And who can forget headband Dan, who did it in a staggering 1 minute 22, despite losing one of his headbands. So, yes, that means we have a new king of the qualifier. Tough guy Jason, 1 minute and 19 seconds. That course record will surely be impossible to beat. But next are a couple of contestants who will give it a go. Now, these two competitors know everything there is to know about sport. Kylie is learning about sports science at Brunel University. And Helen is studying sports psychology at Kent University. I read part of this course with lots of speed, power and female agility. Come on! Yeah, so that was something, something, something. Come on! She's certainly full of bees. Kylie Smiley sets off. That's not a nickname, that's actually her real name. The nickname I'm going to give her is Highly Wily Kylie Smiley. I'll stop that now. She's... Over the stairs, she's doing very well. Let's go! Helen now. There she goes. Where, where, where's she gone? Oh. Ah, no, there she is. <laughs> Onto the pontoon. Whilst Kylie knows all about the body of a sportsman, Helen knows all about the mind. I wonder what's going through her mind right now. Highly wily. Kylie Smiley is on the sucker punch. She's quick. She's nimble. Oh, <laughs> she's in the mud. That's a number one hit for Kylie. She should be so lucky. I'll stop that now. Mental Helen has finally managed to make her way onto the pontoons. <laughs> yes! She's sprinting. Come on, Helen. As a sports psychologist, you just need to think properly. Visualise your way through it. Here we go. Oh, Helen! Kylie's onto the big balls. Here we go. Oh, and going backwards. Smiley Kylie's sports science degree obviously didn't include a module on navigation or crossing big inflatable balls. Yeah, I turned down doing panorama for this. Meanwhile, Mental Helen is still thinking hard about the psychology of the stairs. Who's that? That is Eduardo, the Argentinian lifeguard, always on hand to help the contestants in times of dire need. See? Eduardo, that's enough. Helen's got a second chance, thanks to Eduardo. Come on, Helen. Make the most of it. This is it. Visualise the other side. Here we go. Up. Oh. <laughs> this is the first obstacle. Kylie's on the wall swing, and now she's not. <laughs> Highly wily Kylie Smiley storms in for a fast finish. Could Helen beat Kylie's time? Let's just say it's not looking good. The sucker punch. Yes. Oh! 
she wasn't actually doing too badly until she fell in the mud. She looks happy. Let's tackle these balls! Yes, yes, we're with you. Let's do. Oh, mind you, it's still further than Kylie got on them because she went backwards. Okay, it's, it's not such an elegant approach, but it's effective. Come on, Helen. A swing, land on the ledge, land on it in the water. It's going to be rope burn. Not just on her hands either. Oh dear. I'm bold, I'm beautiful, I'm beefed up and fabulous. Bring it on! Woo! This shy retiring creature is 29 year old Lucy. She's a marketing executive from Bristol who would spend the prize money on her honeymoon. Now she's bold, beautiful, greased up and slippery. And in the water. It's ridiculous. Yes, it is, Lucy, but it's repeatedly ridiculous. Yes! No! Slippery stairs giving us trouble today. <laughs> a little bongo solo into the water. Can prison nurse Lisa from Lincoln show Lucy how it's done? Oh. Oh. No. See, Lisa, that's how you fall in the water. Can anyone show these girls how the slippery stairs are done? I'll meet 32-year-old Germaine from London. He's a sports model. I'm expecting some quality poses from you, young man, today. Why don't you give me the uh, I'm not afraid of this course pose? Smooth. Now how about, ouch, those big red balls hurt. We'll probably be seeing a lot more of his ouch pose as the course goes on. Oh, now that is how to do the slippery stairs. Oh, looking hot, Jermaine. Mind the face on the wall. Oh, well done. <laughs> Model Jermaine completes the course in 2 minutes 19. Let's see where that puts him on the leaderboard. Flying without wings into first place is tough guy Jason with an outstanding 1 minute 19 seconds, followed by Hiley, Wiley, Kylie, Smiley and Model Jermaine in joint second. Bold and beautiful Lucy, Mental Helen and Lisa take 4th, 5th and 6th place. 6 down, 14 to go. Can anyone beat tough guy Jason's record time? What about this lady? My name's Jess, I'm 24, I'm an assistant brewer from Carnoff in Wales. I'm doing this for you, Rudge! I'm going to win this now! Get the money home! No, I, I don't know who Rog is either. I'll just try and find out. No, it doesn't mention a Rog anywhere in my notes. Guys, who's Rog? Boyfriend? Dad? Anyone? Okay. I mean, she's flown over the slippery stairs. That is a very quick start. Rog, whoever he is, obviously a true inspiration. Big balls now for Rog! <laughs> When Rod sees that, he'll not be happy with it one bit. Good swing. Not a brilliant land. Still, Jess comes in with 2 minutes 41, not at all bad. Who is this Rog? My gerbil Rog is completely mental. He runs up and down the curtains and he's breaking his arm. Right, that's a gerbil with a broken arm. That's Rog. Did I hear that right? My gerbil Rog is completely mental. He runs up and down the curtains and he's breaking his arm. So he goes, <laughs> goes down, down everywhere with one arm up. So if I win this one, I'll get him sorted out, plastic surgery, whatever it takes. Yeah, OK, Rog, uh, if you're listening, whatever. Will gerbil Jess be quick enough to get into the top 12? Will Rog get his arm fixed? Stay tuned to find out. Now, meet the university students who've already achieved something notable today. They got up before lunchtime. It's Anya, David and John. Reading politics at Kent is 18-year-old David. Well, cheer up, David. You're in the gorgeous South American sunshine. Grumpy David's hobbies include weightlifting. Oh, you are strong, my man. So how confident are you that you win today? Very. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, still grumpy. Reading technology and design at Belfast is Anya. She's a climber with very strong arms. See? <laughs> Reading visual communications at Ulster is 20-year-old John. His hobbies include, um, press-ups. See? 
wind me up and watch me go. So the super students are off. Grumpy David, Anya and John. John and his beard have got the right idea. So John's our first student on the sucker punch. Oh no, a student punched in the face. What's worse than being hit? <laughs> What's worse than being hit by a boxing glove? Actually, being hit by no boxing gloves, that's gonna cost some credibility. It wafted him off. Onto the big balls. Can't miss these, or they you. Jumps on the first one, lands. Ah, now we know this is a good tactic. Can he make the transfer to the next one? Yes, no, of course he can't. What about Grumpy David? Second student onto the big balls. Whoa! Oh, look at that! That has to be the most graceful attempt at the big balls I've ever seen. Oh, that's beautiful to behold. From the first ball, he does a double hand plant belly bounce, repeats on the second, and then a straight pike into the water. Ten points. So Anya's turn now. Could she be the first student to cross the balls? <laughs> no, no, not even close. John and his beard make a jump for it. But John and his beard can't hold on. David now. No distracting facial hair or silly ponytail action. Still falls in. At least now he's got something to look grumpy about. Anya tries and succeeds. She beats the boys with a time of 1.29. And I've just realised she actually sets the record for the fastest time we've seen from any girl this series. An excellent performance from speedy student Anya, who's now graduated from the University of Hard Knocks, majoring in awkward falls. Ten down, ten to go. We're halfway there. Let's see who's next. It's 20-year-old Ben from Manchester. Ben's party trick is eating a chocolate bar in under ten seconds. If only he ever got invited to parties. Let's join Amanda to find out more. Now, listen, if you, uh, if you do win today, how would you celebrate? I'm going to dance, robot dance. And I uh, hope there's chocolate at the end as a, a surprise. Yes, now, see, now you're talking, Ben. Chocolate would make me run fast. To, uh, actually, do you know what? Oh, huh. here you go. Run! Ben, run! Fast! Go! 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 I'm big and I'm fast. In 30 seconds' time, be at that finish line. But what's he wearing on his feet? That's not going to help him get round in 30 seconds. The black socks, is that... <laughs> oh, he may not make it in 30 seconds, but that is pretty good progress. Just imagine how disappointed he's going to be when he realises that the prize is only £10,000, not a bar of chocolate. No! Oh! That's <laughs> heaven. Ben's other party trick there, swallowing a boxing glove in under 10 seconds. <laughs> OK, can Ben join the exclusive club of people who've made it across the big balls? Come on, Ben, there's a bar of chocolate in it for you. It, oh, no. Tell you what, though, it may not be a record time, but it is a record height. Look at that. Oh! Definitely in the water. Right, I think this is... Now, come on, Ben. Come on. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> come on, Ben. The end is almost in sight. There it is. No! Oh, you've broken the end. Chocolate Ben completes the course in 2 minutes 25, which actually is very respectable. Let's see how that affects the leaderboard. So, speedy student Anya slips in behind Jason and grumpy David lies in third. John and his beard sit in fourth with a time of 1 minute 55. Chocolate Ben puts in a surprisingly swift bid for qualification and gerbil Jess sneaks into him. Let's go back to Amanda, who's with one of the country's leading martial arts experts. He's from Telford. And I'm with Lee now at the top of the qualifier and he's our very own Hong Kong Fui. <laughs> Wah! That is the coolest kicky, jumpy stuff I've ever seen. I think you're going to do really well out there today, Lee. I hope so. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you very much. So the Karate Kid runs down the slope. Oh, oh! the young boy still has much to learn. Yeah, the, the slope defeats him. It is truly a worthy adversary. Ouch. He's away. Ah, now this is more like it, storming round the course. All that martial arts training might be worth something after all. Sucker punch now. Ducking and weaving. Yes. 
Oh, oh, see, he really knows how to take a hit. First thing they teach you in karate is how to fall. And Lee practicing his best fall moves there. Look, no one can withstand that. Now time for Lee to show off his acute sense of balance and agility on the big balls. Here we go. Yet more karate falling. Karate Kid isn't the only person today to show us some incredible moves on the big balls. Raise you, I'm the biggest girl here. Despite what you've heard, boys, I'm here to prove that size does matter. <gasps> this is Rosie. She scares me. Ah, oh, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, I bet it. Yes. <laughs> oh, it probably did. <laughs> This is Jo from Bristol, a keen sportswoman who represents Britain at international level in the sport of frisbee. Didn't help at all. I'm joined now at the top of the qualifier by Sean, who is a fireman, and he didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. Sean, are you literally going to set that course on fire today? Of course I am. Oh, hang on. Firemen don't set things on fire. They put them out. It'd be... Oh, well, it's all immaterial now. It's fallen in the water. Show me what you got. 10,000 pounds. I'm going home with a lot. 34-year-old Geordie Zaff. Can he make it? Not... <laughs> He's a shepherd. Do they still have those? Let's talk about total wipeout, sheep and transferable skills. Well, sometimes when you catch sheep, you've got to be quick and nimble. I'm hoping I can use my practice at that to put it to my advantage on the course. Well, good luck, William. Ready? We're rooting for you. Thank you. Matt. <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> so it turns out shepherds aren't very good at crossing the big balls. But I am a big fan of their pies. Who could forget this guy? PC Tim was on the show a few weeks ago and he danced a bit like this. <laughs> well, this is the woman who used to be married to PC Tim, his ex-wife, 56-year-old Joy. OK. They had lots of things in common. She's on. <laughs> She's gone. She's uh, climbing up with her face. Joy, this this isn't technically an obstacle. Yep, Joy is travelling down Struggle Street at the minute. It's really not going that well for Joy, is it? I'm... Come on, away we go. Hey, look who it is! It's Eduardo. I love this guy. Look at him. You see. This is more like it. Come on, Joy. Slippery stairs now. Yes, on the feet. We're at the first obstacle. We're off it. <laughs> oh, dear. I think this may take some time. Come on, Joy. Show your ex-husband. What's that I can see? Ah, look who's back. He can't keep his hands off our Joy, can he? It's Eduardo. Yeah, oh, like it. Doubles as a vet. I've got a good feeling about this. Come on, Joy. Oh, Joy! <laughs> you fell in the mud. Joy has not done very well on the total wipeout course so far, but she may surprise us on the big red balls. Come on, Joy. You can, you can get it all back now. Well... Maybe not. 
and she calls it a day. Don't worry, Joy, Eduardo's on his way. Good thought. Now, here's a woman not to be messed with. 37-year-old Sarah from Yorkshire is a powerboat racer. She's pretty muscly and she's scaring the living daylights out of me. Not in a good way. Now, because I don't want Sarah to hunt me down and batter me, I'm not going to do any smart aleck jokes on her run. This is all brilliant. She's strong. She's away. Yes. Slippery stairs now, just dispatched with ease. Going backwards. Shush, Amanda. Just leave it. Don't point it out. She was getting a run up to do it in a more stylish way. Here we go. Oh. I can't believe her six pack won't get her up those stairs. Amanda, are you looking for a fight? Because if Sarah starts on you, you're on your own. I'll just watch. Now, Kieran, I hear that you um, have done some gymnastics. Can you show us any moves? Yeah, sure. I can show you a flip if you really want. Brilliant! He does gymnastics. That's a girl's sport. I'm going to have a field day with Kieran. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, he's really good. <laughs> Very good. On to the sucker punch now. This could be it, Kieran. He's looking really fast. I reckon tough guy Jason's new record could be in trouble here. He's timing it. He really is timing. He's not taking the punches. He's timing his way round. I think I've got a new hero. Amanda's impressed too. Right, on to the big balls. Hands on the second ball. Cat-like onto the third. Oh! Amazing wedges himself in. And then... Oh, Kieran, I love you. You're my new hero. Yes! This is just the wall swing to go. He's on for a course record here. Take your time, Kieran. Concentrate. Land it, land it, land it. Just see if you can. First the swing, then that critical landing. And he's done it! Incredible! Wow! Is that it? Genius! That was the perfect run. One minute, 13 seconds. I would struggle to run alongside the course that quickly. Do you know what? I'm thinking about taking up gymnastics. Oh, Incredible. Is there anything Superboy Kieran can't do? He's, he's not a great swimmer. Well, we all have our weaknesses, even him. So that completes the qualifier in some style. Superboy Kieran simply sweeps the competition aside, storming into first place with a record 1 minute 13. He's followed by Tough Guy Jason and Speedy Anya. Shepherd William lies in fourth, whilst Grumpy David and Fireman Sean take fifth and sixth. John and his beard, the Karate Kid and Kylie also qualify along with model Germain, Jordi Zaff and Frisbee Joe. So now we have our sweeper's dozen. It's like a normal dozen, except 11 of them end up getting very wet. Time for the sweeper. Yes, it's the face-planting, body-thumping, shin-bashing piece of machinery designed especially to remove the weak and the careless and whittle our gallant 12 to just six. Oh! And then, purely for your entertainment, we shall see who, out of those six, will be the last man standing. Let's meet the Sweeper's Dozen. On podium number one is William the Shepherd. Time for this shepherd to grab the bull by the horns. Grumpy David is on podium two. Kieran, Jason, I'm wishing you the worst of luck. Followed by tough guy Jason. The sweeper's not going to damage these good looks. On podiums four, five and six are Geordie Zaff, Frisbee Joe and Superboy Kieran. Remember, guys, the taller you are, the harder you'll fall. He is so going to win. On seven and eight are Jermaine the model and John and his beard. One, two, three. Yeah, now that is fascinating. Podium nine sees Fireman Sean standing proud. It's now time to show these young whippersnappers what this old dog can really do. That's dirty. 
And on 10 and 11, a Karate Kid Lee and Speedy student, Anya. We're going for an all-women final. Let's go, girls! Woo! Taking the final podium is Highly Wiley Kylie Smiley. Are you all ready? Yeah! Come on! Three, two, one! The sweep is off, and everyone is still on for now. William the Shepherd, Lumpy Day. Oh, Jason's oh. down! <laughs> One of the hot favourites, tough guy Jason, leaves the competition straight away and scoops up his Westlife CDs on his way out. Gutted, absolutely gutted. I thought I'd be able to do quite well at this, but to go out without even managing one jump is disappointing, obviously. One down, but we still need to lose another five. Oh, sorry, four. Jordi Zaff has gone. That's the last you'll be seeing of him. I thought I cleared it, but it just caught me at the last one. I think I landed too early. It just caught me at the end. Got it. Absolutely got it. Ten jumpers left and Frisbee Joe's on her knees, praying maybe to the Argentinian god of sweepers. Because there is one. And again, as that sweeper accelerates, she's going to have less time to get back up using that technique. It's risky. See, more prayers. Kylie scoring herself 10 out of 10 for that jump. Everyone else is looking pretty steady. Remember, only six can go through to the next round. Oh, and Kylie, there's another one down. Poor Kylie. Kylie Smiley has run right out of Wiley. She also forgot to jump. Ow, probably more important at that point. I have never been so scared in my life. But, um, a bit of vertically challenged, so I think that got the better of me in the end. I saw it coming and I was like, not jumping that, go with it. But, yeah, wipe out, there we go. So, down in one. She's still smiling, though, so that's... Well, hang on. What happened there? What's Jermaine doing? Oh, Jermaine! So straightforward. I've seen... Kylie's hit. <laughs> I just seen the hit and I was like, you know what, I'm out of it. And I had a feeling once I got off, I could have probably carried on a little bit more. But the way she got took out by the ball, I was like, you know what, I'm out of it. <laughs> yeah, what you're saying is you were scared. Ooh, Fireman Sean's wobbly and he's in. Proving not all firemen are good with poles. Was I on fire? I think I've just had my fire put out. Yeah, nice fire metaphor there on the fireman. So William, David, Joe, Kieran, John and his beard, Lee and Anya make seven. One more to go, the next man is out! Frisbee Joe still praying. Oh, I can't bear it. Seven strong contenders here, but one of them is going to narrowly miss out on a place in that crucial top six. Who will it be? Can't all go through. Somebody's got to get out. Somebody's got to fall. It's Frisbee Joe. She's out of the competition. The sweeper just gives her a tap on the knees, followed by a big headache. Forget Joe, though. Isn't Kieran staggering? Look at that. You see, balanced, poised, in control. Absolutely gutted. How close was that? There's nothing worse than being the last person out. Gutted. Come in, guys. It's last man standing. So we have our final six, and now we're just playing for... Oh, Ooh, that's grumpy David gone, but he is safely into the next round, remember. I say safely, watching that replay, I'm not so sure. Oh, Karate Kid Lee's gone too. Superboy Kieran still jumping, perfectly. Oh, John and his beard both go down together. Who's still in? Superboy Kieran? Speedy student Anya and William the Shepherd, so three. No, two, William's down. No, that's one, Kieran's off! And so is Anya, but she was the last to fall, which makes her the last woman standing. Well, the last woman swimming, yeah, but you know what I mean. She won. So the sweeper has carefully selected the six contestants who go through to the next round. One of them will shortly be winning £10,000. Speedy student Anya takes top spot as the last woman standing. Let's go, go! Woo! Followed by Superboy Kieran, who is flying round this course. Ready? Time for this shepherd to grab the bull by the horns. Shepherd Williams still not quite clear on what a boy sheep is called. It's a ram. 
John and his beard take fourth spot. The Karate Kid Lee takes fifth. Whilst Grumpy David scrapes in in sixth place. Wishing you the worst of luck. And finally manages a smile. Oh! Well, here they are. They're calling them the donuts. I suppose, like real donuts, these things are round, greasy, and likely to cause health problems in later life. So you can understand the name thing. All our contestants have to do is cross them after being spun on the dizzy dummies. The first five across are safe, the last one across is out. Then they have to do it all over again and again until we have our final three. Back to Amanda to get the game started. It's dizzy dummies. Are you all ready? Yeah. Slightly pathetic. Three, two, one. <laughs> The spinning begins. Scream if you want to go faster or if you want to stop. Actually, you can scream all you want. That thing's on an automated 40-second timer. Can't be stopped manually. Still better them than us. Hell. Out they get. David charges at the donuts and gets a dunking. For his trouble, Lee skims across. Kieran and John skid on and off. you like this game straight away. <laughs> It looks satisfyingly painful. Speedy student Anya takes it more cautiously now. Ooh. Oh, but not cautiously enough. William the Shepherd there sneaks forward. Oh, and then sneaks into the water. Oh, here he goes. My hero Kieran sees a clear path to the finish. Come on, Kieran. You see. Speedy student Anya making good ground here. Yes. Once again, showing the boys how it's done. And she's across. Technique. Take your time. Karate Kid Lee now seizes his opportunity, jumps for the platform. Here we go. Oh! Has he got the fingernails to hold on? It's, oh, no! That was painfully close for the Karate Kid. But it's right back to the start for him. Ooh, bit of a donut pileup going on. David's down again. But William the Shepherd is across. Lee makes a dive for it and falls in again. But John and his beard are through and looking exhausted. So either Lee or David will be eliminated now. David makes a bid for survival. Come on, Lee. Oh! Oh! But it's too late. Grumpy David is across. Great work from David, and that means it's goodbye to Karate Kid Lee. You were trying so desperately at the end, but it was all over for you, I'm afraid. It was, yeah. I was trying to push hard and uh, couldn't get the last one done. Um, something tells me you're never going to eat another donut in your life. Oh, I don't think I will do. <laughs> so the klaxon sounds to signify round two. Let's just hope the next sound we hear isn't wretching. Their prize for doing so well last time is to do it all again. There are only four places up for grabs, and the golden rule applies here. Just don't come last. This time, they face the tippy tables. Good, no barfing. The Argentinian cleaners will be glad. David charges off again. Yeah, maybe that charging off strategy needs a rethink, David. Kieran's next. Oh, no, he slides off too. No. Here's John. He's gone in as well. Speedy student Anya having none of it. And bolts across. Oh, great balance. There's a lot of tippying going on from these tables here. It's all in the timing. Anya's through. How did 
William the Shepherd get himself into that position? What's, that's not gone well. <laughs> well, that's how you get out of it again. <laughs> oh, William, that was genius. Amanda offering invaluable encouragement from the sidelines. Oh, here comes Superboy Kieran. This looks good. Of course it does. How can he fail? And he's across. I knew he would. Both John and his beard have made it to the second tippy table. Either them, William or David, will be eliminated next. Leg it, man. Concentrating hard. John's across. Has his beard made it? Yes, yes, there it is, under his chin strap. So it's between Grumpy David and William the Shepherd now. David is ahead at the moment, but that could all change. No, David makes it, which means William the Shepherd must return to his flock. Empty-handed, but they'll be happy to see him. Oh, William. Oh, so close, but yet so very far. Yes, didn't take my chance when he came along. A bit disappointed. Oh, John's grimacing already. It hasn't even started yet, John. Oh, now it has. One of these four is not going to make it into tonight's final. Come on, John. Keep the lunch in. You don't want to mess up your beard. David doesn't charge off this time. He lets Kieran do it instead. Big mistake, man. Kieran's in control. Oh, well, John flaps about in the water. Kieran eases into the final. He's so cool. David jumps for it. Oh. See, he just lacked Kieran's balance and general talent. Slide, Anya, slide. Speedy student Anya forges ahead now. Oh. She just can't keep a grip on those greasy donuts. Nothing to grip with. She's gone. Ah. Back to grumpy David, who spent most of this round in the water. It's not cheered him up any. And again, if only it were a swimming race, David, but it's not. Come on, Anya! John and his beard leap, and both manage to hang on. Just. And he tries to follow suit and falls. John's close now. He's just a beard's width from the finish. Ooh, he's hung on, and he and his beard are into the wipeout zone with Kieran. Either David or Anya are going out. David makes the finish. Meaning Anya, the fastest woman ever on the qualifier, is out of total wipeout. Oh, Anya, darling, I am gutted for you. How are you feeling? Tired, but disappointed. Oh, my neck. They are slimy. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty nervous about this wipeout zone. Excited, but nervous. Uh, if I wasn't nervous, I think there'd be something wrong with me. I'm ecstatic I made it to the wipeout zone, actually. This one, I think, will be a big challenge for me. Hopefully, I'll get through it. Winning total wipeout would be probably my most proudest achievement to date. And winning that money would be a lovely benefit as well. And money's my main motivation in life. The biggest rival would have to be Kieran. Legend. Absolute legend. He just dominated. I think my biggest rival for the wipeout zone might even be David. I think he's really hungry for this. Yeah, I'm going to put everything into it. Heart, mind, body. I'll be doing my best to win, and hopefully I will win. I never thought I'd make it this far. I never expected to be at the final three. Tonight's definitely a battle of the young ones. Three youngest in the competition made it through, but this 19-year-old's going to prevail. I may be the youngest one, but I've definitely proven myself to be one of the best. So, boo to them. I'm winning. I'm winning. I have to win. I'm not going home if I don't win. This whole experience for me has been life-changing. I really have enjoyed being a different country, group of people I wouldn't normally have met. I'm living proof. If you give it 100%, then you can make your own opportunities. If 
David, John and Kieran thought what they'd done so far was tough. They haven't seen anything yet. First, they face a slide down Killer Cell. Followed by a trip up the barrel run without tripping up or belly flopping. It's just so undignified. Then they face the wrath of the wall and its pounding water. Before attempting the fiendish spinner. Finally, they must cross the rolling beam and the launch pads, which have launched many finalists into cold Argentinian water. Do all of that the quickest, and you'll be going home £10,000 richer. So, who out of David, John, and Kieran will be our next total wipeout champion? Over to Amanda to get things started. I cannot wait. It's Battle of the Babes in the Wipeout Zone, starting with David. Let's do this! Yes, let's. Well, there goes David. David's hobbies include swimming, which is proving useful here, and weightlifting, which may well be needed when he gets to those barrels. The beam greased there just to make it an extra bit tricky. Onto the barrel run itself. Whoa! Enthusiastic start from David. Ooh, ooh, bit of trouble with the last one, though. But he is swiftly onto the wall. And he's sticking like glue. That water doesn't seem to be bothering him at the moment. He's entering the full weight of the falls now. 2,000 litres of water pouring onto his head. Barely see those grips, let alone hold them. He's cleared the wall. Spinner next. Many have fallen here. David wasting no time getting onto the spinner. Or getting off. No, no! No, he's just... He's fallen, but he stayed on. Did you see that? The rolling beam now, straight across. The launch pads. Only oh, makes it look easy. David's done it, and in an amazing time of 1 minute 23. That is a course record. A near faultless run from David who seemed to take the wipeout zone in his stride. That time will take some beating. Yet another record smashed to smithereens. That was an unbelievable performance. How was it for you? Oh, it was crazy. The last bit over there, I nearly fell in. I was able to wrap my foot around and pull myself up. I'm just, it was incredible. I really thought for a second I was going in there, but I didn't give up hope and I managed to get through. You have been one serious competitor all the way through this, David, and I can tell you right now that your time was 1 minute and 23 seconds. That's incredible. Hopefully it's good enough to win. I really want to win. Let's hope so, because up next is John. I got this! Yeah, the beard now making it very hard to understand what John's saying. But this is the moment they've both been waiting for. Maybe the beard's nervous. Beautiful poetry in motion as John and his beard fly together through the Argentinian night sky. Ooh, strong swim to the barrel. He's not hanging around. Wow! The barrels now, and that is flawless technique over the barrels. John and his beard already onto the wall. Now, this is where it can so easily go wrong. Too fast on the wall, and he might slip. Too cautious, he'll be wasting valuable seconds and strength just hanging on under the weight of that water. But John's pitched it perfectly. He's cleared the wall of spinners next. He's on in no time. Having a bit of trouble getting off. He's really got to push on now if he's going to beat David's time. They are just seconds apart at this stage. Not that John or his beard know that. Right, he's safely off the spinner. Such a dangerous point in the course, that. The rolling beam now, no trouble for John, just the launch pads to go. Oh, he just clings on, this is so close now. Come on, John. Unbelievable. John and his beard have done it, a second faster than David. I think I may have beaten. 
Oh, no. David doesn't know yet. I thought after David's run that we'd seen it all, but somehow John and his beard pulled it out of the bag to beat him by a single second. Amanda, you're going to have to put the boys out of their misery. David did an unbelievable time of 1 minute and 23 seconds. David and John, I can tell you right now that there was one second between you. John, you were faster. Oh. David, it means you're out, man. I'm sorry. Hard luck. How you feel? Uh, oh, uh, I, I'm speechless. Come on, let's get this done. Come on. Here we go. This promises to be incredible. And he's off. If anyone can beat John's spectacular time, it is, of course, Kim. Swimming isn't his strongest point, but he's out of the water now. And easily leaping those barrels, his gymnastics training paying off. Straight up the barrel run, onto the wall. Kieran doing his best to keep his head out of the water, and it seems to be working. This is quick stuff. He approaches the spinner. You see, faster than a speeding bullet, he's onto the spinner. Come on, Kieran. Yes, a clean landing. The course record and victory within his sights. This has been an incredible, incredible final. One of them, no! Oh, that's it, it's all over for Kieran. He got to the end of the rolling beam and just kept going. He will be bitterly disappointed, as is the nation. Kieran doesn't know it yet, but that one slip-up has just cost him £10,000. Great work on the launch pads. And he's done. 1 minute 57 is a very, very strong time. On any day other than today, that would have clinched it. Kieran has barely made a mistake all day, but this one couldn't have come at a worse time. Let's cross to Amanda now to give him the bad news. What happened to you at the end? Managed to fall off the edge, thought I may as well jump, but didn't think I'd make it, so I had to go back around. Well, you did pretty well tonight, but unfortunately, Kieran, your time just was not fast enough, which means that, John, you are the total right back champion!